Hey guys, welcome to week nine's training recap video. Uh, we are in the midst of the coronavirus here in New Orleans, so training's been a little bit odd and strange, like I'm sure it's been for everybody. But I'm here to talk about the good, the bad, and you know what, there is no ugly this week. We're just talking about the good and the bad. So the good was I got a ton of training in this week. Um, I don't have a whole lot to do since everything's closed and uh, I'm, I'm currently don't really have a job since you can't see anybody face to face so I can't really coach anybody. Um, doing some stuff online but overall it's it's been nothing but, um, but working out and then playing with this puppy that is right here. Urgh, my little pound puppy that we adopted right before the, the big the big everybody stay at home order. So um, I've been running a lot. I am up to four miles nonstop at about 11.30 pace, which I think is awesome. Uh, I know it's not super fast for everybody else, but I'm still just doing my race. So I'm trying to get that down to 10 minutes, and a lot of people say that's kind of crazy, but that's what I was at before. And uh, with my asthma, the way that it currently is, I think I'm gonna be able to, to really hit that. So that's, I'm really excited about that. Um, the, so that's the good. The other good is that I'm riding pretty much every day, uh, but I've been riding my mountain bike because uh, there's nobody on the streets. So I can go for these really long rides. I actually did uh, 62 miles last week just, just riding around. Um, I did get some time on the road bike. I did uh, some interval training on the road bike. So um, I would go uh, try, to, try to sprint and then bring my heart rate back down and then sprint and then bring my heart rate back down and sprint and so um, I did that for about uh, I guess I did that for about 10 miles so that was fun so my distance I'm getting on the mountain bike which is really making me fast on that road bike when I get on it because that mountain bike even though it's a it's a really nice mountain bike and it, it's super light for a mountain bike it's uh it's still pretty heavy compared to my road bike so those are the good things um the bad is uh, what was the bad um I guess my nutrition is not totally on point. I've been eating a lot of ice cream, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but I still lost a pound. I'm down to 156.2, so I'm still on track to make that 150 mark on, on May 1st. Sorry about the shaky camera, guys. The dog just really wants to play on the ground today. Um, so uh, I need to get my nutrition a little bit more in check, but I think with everything going on, it's pretty good. Uh, there is no ugly. I'm just trying to look at the positive. Uh, oh, um, one thing is that uh, I know everybody's kind of looking for how to work out since all the gyms are closed and you may not have your equipment at home on the blog and I'll put a link at the bottom of this video. Right now we're on day 12. I'm doing a 14 day at home uh, workout series where you don't need any equipment. You're just gonna use body weight. So check that out if if you're looking for something to do to supplement your training since you can't get in the um, since you can't get in the gym right now and you may not have the equipment to, to do it on your own. So check that out. Uh, what else? We have some, I uploaded some exercise videos for, so I linked to all the exercise videos so you know exactly how to do the movement. And there's also um, some, some modifications if you can't do it the exact way that the, you, you do it when you, uh, when you know what you're doing and you've been doing it a while. So it's a little bit of something for everybody out there. So just wanted to put that out there in case you're looking for something. But all in all, just trying to stay positive, trying to stay safe. Everyone in my family is still healthy. I'm still healthy, so I'm grateful for that. And uh, just everybody else stay home so we can get back to normal. Come on, people are dying out there. Get it together. Uh, thank you to all the first responders, to the garbage men, to the grocery workers, to uh, the power plant workers, to, to everybody that's keeping the city running um, a little bit normal and and keeping the rest of us out here able to go get the things that we need uh, so big thank you to you guys and uh, I guess I'll see you next week uh, we're starting week 10 and I'm just gonna keep up what I'm doing we're gonna keep running we're gonna keep uh, biking oh I have picked up karate a lot cleaned out the garage so that's been fun uh, we're gonna keep with that and uh, we're just gonna hope that maybe that October 31st race will still happen so thank you guys for tuning in and uh, I'll I'll keep on trucking y'all stay safe